welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to create automated emails to use in workflows here in hubspot let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time here in hubspot i want you to click the sign up option and from here just follow with the on-screen instructions and you're good to go Creating automated emails within HubSpot workflow is a straightforward process that offers several benefits for businesses and marketers, allowing them to streamline processes, engage effectively with contacts, and of course, improve overall efficiency. Once you are here on your account, here in HubSpot, depending on how you set it up, I want you to navigate to the left side panel of your dashboard, go to the marketing section, and click on email because from here all we have to do is create something from scratch we have the email tools here and we have the create email from scratch you can of course use the regular but i'm going to use the automated wherein i can create a personalized emails that's automatically sent to contacts through a workflow all right and from here you might want to start a tour or explore on your own it doesn't matter or it's up to you okay if you want, just click this or skip that for now. Just click on Explore on my own. You see, you have multiple options on the uh, creating automated emails. You have uh, the basic wherein you can send email to your new customers to welcome them to your product or services. You can start with a simple, simple template if you like to have or to begin with minimal formatting in your emails. You have uh, these uh, promotion plain email newsletter we also have an, uh, a separate video on how to create a new template from scratch here in hubspot that you might want to check but if you want to start something like maybe using an announcement or maybe just use let's use um, the welcome if you click on it you see there's going to be uh, the uh, tools and the elements on the left side wherein we can drag and drop all of these to customize the information from this specific email because we're going to make it autumn you you see the company logo we we wanted to replace that i'm going to choose another file here and of course from here we can basically um you can be creative if you want all right it's all up to you for the different color like this If you wanted to add an image, just drag and drop it here. Now, once you are happy with it, all you have to do is you have the preview and publish. All right, so the required field is subject line. Wanna... All right, so click that preview and publish and publish all right you see there's gonna be an option here that says can be sent through a workflow you can choose the location of the workflow is it gonna be forms or workflows of course it's gonna be workflow we're going to search an option or create a new workflow if you want it all right and from here all you have to do is just choose the uh trigger is it going to be contact based is it schedule specific um date for now let's click on next and from here we can set up triggers you can choose other triggers that decides how a contact enters this workflow if there's no triggers yet contacts can still be enrolled manually and once the workflow is published all we're going to do is set up the triggers for example when an event occurs all right click this you see all of these um options for you automatic triggers enrollment when an event occurs your criteria will appear here if you don't want that you might want to click on uh delete or if you're happy just click on done and you have all the uh the options here for example you can select an event to trigger base for example um email email sent all right so that's that click on done 
and add contacts meet the following filter criteria contacts will be only enrolled if they also meet the following criteria when the trigger runs you can add a criteria here again for example are you want do you want to have the import membership or list membership or maybe for the contact properties you might want to skip that once you're happy with it click on done And this is going to be for the uh, event, right? You can have uh, the communication or browse all actions. Delay, branch, go to workflow. And for example, if you go to the workflow, choose any workflow. And then once you're happy, you might want to click on test. Select a contact. want to make sure that this is running the idea is to automatically notify and easily track open rates click rates and conversions so that you can gain valuable insights to the effectiveness of the campaign all right as you can see the workflow has been completed all right now automated emails within HubSpot workflows enhance productivity improve Customer engagement and support business growth by automating repetitive tasks and delivering personalized, timely communications. Once you're happy with that, all you're going to do is click on review if you wanted. We're going to rename this as... And click on save. Now once it's done, all you're going to do is click on the update, publish updates, just wait for it, and there's going to be an app uh, settings here. As you can see, when you hover to the upper right corner, when you click on the sample email, when you review an update on the bottom, it says the email type is automated, all right? Now you can send this email to the right contacts at the right time by adding it to the workflow, which we have done earlier. If you want, if you're curious about it, you see there are two workflows, simple and the more powerful workflows, right? Can up click on update and that's it. Because automated workflows allows you to manage and enlarge audiences without the need of Additional staff, making it cost-effective strategy for nurturing leads and converting customers. And that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next one.